So proofs can either be written in, in uh, the two-column form that we've already talked about or in paragraph form. If we do it in paragraph form, then we're going to use sentences to explain things. So in this problem here, if I'm asked to prove, or if I'm asked to say, so if line R is parallel to line S and angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, prove that line P is parallel to line Q and use paragraph proof. So the first thing I'd like to say is the proof is in the picture. Well, what does that mean? Um, I need to be able to see the answer in the picture before I go. I've drawn that the lines R and S are parallel here. And I'm going to put in here uh, that these two are both one clicky. They say that right here, that they're congruent. So how do I prove that P is parallel to Q? Well, if, if angle 2 is congruent to angle 1, then the lines are parallel. Because if corresponding angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. Once I know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, and that, there, and that uh, and we already know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, because that was given. Since 2 is congruent to angle 3, we know that P and Q have to be parallel, because if, if alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So the paragraph proof would be written just almost the way I just said it. 